Now that we've seen all of the trends that we discussed in part one, here are four more trends for you to enjoy. We're going to see a lot more beverages with purported health claims. Uh, drinks with things like adaptogens, like ginseng or ashwagandha, that are supposed to actually detect what's wrong with your body and do something to treat it. Now, whether you believe those claims or not, a lot of your customers do. This is a drink that is supposed to relax me. It has ginger and cinnamon and cloves. We're seeing water with protein added, with caffeine added, with vitamins added. And even with altered pH, there's a, a growing interest in alkaline water that uh, people think will, will help clean out the toxins in our body and, and lower acidity. The science behind that is questionable at best, but it's definitely a trend that you want to pay attention to if you're accustomed to that. You can also expect to see a new generation of energy drinks in 2020. They contain things like nootropics that are supposed to enhance your brain function in a, a more nuanced way than the caffeine that we're accustomed to. This one has guarana in it and it's supposed to revitalize and energize me. CBD market is supposed to exceed $260 billion by 2022. Although the legal framework for that is still really cloudy, we're already seeing CBD being added to drinks in places where marijuana is legal, like California and Colorado. There are microbreweries that are just waiting for their lawyers to give them permission to add CBD to their beer. And once the regulatory framework clears up, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more Thanks for tuning into this video. Here's to a great 2020.